Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Uh, Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. So, uh, a lot of stuff going on here today. Since this all was talked about on Twitter about uh, about 15 minutes ago, according to my timeline. We're going to start with Sammy Guevara here. So, Sammy Guevara did a podcast several years ago. I think it was 2016. And he had been at the WWE Performance Center. And on the podcast, he made some comment. And this is not the exact comment. I, I don't actually have the comment in front of me. But it was something to the effect of, he thought that Sasha Banks was so attractive that he just wanted to, and I quote, rape that woman. Those were the words that he used. So this became a huge deal last night. Sammy Guevara, 55 minutes ago, on Twitter wrote, I have made stupid, inappropriate, and extremely offensive comments in my past. In my idiotic mind, I thought I was being funny and using words and terms that represent nothing but horror and pain. I'm truly sorry for my hurtful words and actions, and I will never forgive myself. Later, he wrote, I also want to apologize to Sasha Banks for my unacceptable comments. She is an amazing person who did not deserve to be the brunt of my offensive remarks. I spoke with her earlier, and she helped me learn a gigantic lesson, and I thank her for that. Once again, I am sincerely sorry. Sasha tweeted, Earlier, I spoke with Sammy. He apologized, and we had an open discussion. Words like the comments he made, jokingly or not, have absolutely no place in our society. I don't condone or tolerate this kind of behavior. What one thinks is just a side comment can have a massive impact on someone else's life and can send the wrong message. We have to hold ourselves accountable for our actions and the words we say. I hope this situation shows him that. I hope from this point on, in order for growth and change within our community to take place, we all can continue to have these conversations. No person, man, woman, or child should ever be subjected to a feeling of fear or an unsafe environment. We all have to do better, not just for ourselves, but for generations to come. Sincerely, Mercedes Bernardo. So, this was a really stupid thing to say. And Sammy absolutely should have and did apologize. And somebody somebody suggested that maybe even AEW should, should have him take some classes. So, I do want to make this clear, and perhaps this will be an unpopular opinion, but, you know, I saw a lot of people, and they were going nuts that Sammy needs to be fired immediately, and, and this and that, and, and maybe this will be an unpopular opinion. But when I heard all of this, my thoughts were this was a very, very stupid thing. Sammy absolutely needs to apologize, he needs to apologize to Sasha Banks, and he should, he should never use that terminology again. But did I think that Sammy Guevara should be fired? No. And the, the key to all of this to me is, Sammy said something really dumb. But if you've been following this over the last couple of days, we have allegations of people who appear to be serial rapists. Actual serial rapists. I'm not saying that, that Sammy should be ignored or that we don't need to talk about Sammy or should we should ignore... I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying that there is a real big issue with people in this industry who appear to have rape, actually raped people on multiple occasions. I'm going to bring up Joey Ryan here. I'll just read the news and then we could talk more about this. Bar Wrestling is reportedly shut down as a number of women have accused owner Joey Ryan of sexual assault and harassment. Not making stupid jokes about it or saying dumb things. Actual, actual sexual assault and harassment. SoCal and Censor reported this evening that Bootleg Theater, which was the home base of bar wrestling, have ended their relationship with the company due to the allegations. Several people have also told the website that the promotion has ceased operations. Additionally, the promotion's video library is no longer available on the High Spots network. After initial accusations surfaced, Ryan posted a lengthy message on his Twitter account apologizing for invading people's personal space. After that message was posted, a number of women posted on Twitter allegations of sexual assault and harassment. Ryan has since deactivated his Twitter account 
as well as the Bar Wrestling account. Ryan primarily works for Impact Wrestling, who have not commented on these specific allegations. They have run no show since March 11 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I don't want to hear anything today about AEW versus WWE or any of this other... Like, that's not what all of this is about, everybody. Like, two of the executives, executives of All Elite Wrestling, were very, very good friends with Joey Ryan. Joey Ryan was all over being the elite. And what has happened in the last 24 hours is, I think they've taken down every single episode of Being the Elite that Joey Ryan was in. Every single one of them. I, I've talked to people who have known Joey Ryan. This is not just in AEW, but all over the place. I have talked to people that have known Joey Ryan forever. They're appalled. Absolutely appalled. And I know that some people are going to say, well, I, I, can't, I can't. And listen, there's a lot of things about the Joey Ryan story. I mean, his gimmick was, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have people grab my genitals. And, and I'm going to flex and they're going to do flips. You know how many people grabbed his genitals? Not just wrestlers, but like photos for fans and that sort of thing. Like he had spots where where he grabbed women and did what was called the boob plex. I mean, there's so much stuff that, yeah, when you look back, it's like, oh my God. But I talked to so many people and you don't have to believe this if you don't want to. But I talked to so many people that were like, I cannot believe that, that we didn't see this. Like, everybody thought that Joey Ryan was just sort of a, a shy guy who who had... Uh, I, I heard it over and over. He was shy. He seemed like he had social anxiety. Just seemed like kind of a, a weird guy, but seemed like a, a good-natured guy. That's what I heard over and over from people. The idea I've heard from, from people that, oh my God, like everybody knew about this, blah, blah, blah. Dude, some people might have suspected something, but the idea that everybody in wrestling knew about this... Everybody in wrestling did not know about this. And there are so many people today that are appalled by the situation. And my, my whole overall point is, not just Joey Ryan, but there's a list a mile long. And, and a lot of those people were accused of actual, actual rape. So my point is, there's a, there's a big problem in this industry that needs to be, that needs to be addressed. And I feel like Getting obsessed over over something that Sammy Guevara said in a podcast is muddying a much larger issue here. 